there are a couple of ways that you can get into the dashboard of your website. The first one is through your Bluehost portal. On the Home tab, if you click on WordPress, that will take you and log you into your dashboard. Bluehost will automatically fill in your username and password to get into your dashboard. The problem is that you don't know what your username and password is. And the way I recommend you log in is not through the Bluehost portal because it takes a lot of time. What I recommend you do is log in through the URL of your domain. So that's what I want to show you. Go into your dashboard by clicking that WordPress button. And when you're in your dashboard, go down to users. And this will list all of the users on the site. You can see that I'm the only user. And I'm going to click on that. My username, by the way, is that hyperlinked name there. So make a note of your username when you get here. Make a note of your username. Click on your username and then scroll down. And at the bottom, you'll see new password and you can generate a new password. And I recommend you generate a password and copy it. Paste it into your document that you're keeping your username and password secure and then click on update profile. Once you've done that, you know what your username is, you know what your password is. Then when you want to log into your site, I'm going to just log out of mine, out of my dashboard. When you want to log into your site, just go to your domain name forward slash wp-login.php. You don't have to go through the Bluehost portal. Go down to login with username and you'll get a place to put your username and your password in and then click on the login and you're taken into your dashboard. Let me just log out one more time. There's another way. Go to your domain and instead of adding wp-login.php, if it's easier for you to remember, just type in wp-admin and that will then take you to the same login screen. Click login with username and password, enter your username, enter your password, click login and you're back in your dashboard. This is by far the quickest way because you can avoid the Bluehost portal, which is a lot slower. However, if you want to log into your Bluehost portal first and then click on WordPress for your site, you can do that as well. These are two different ways to log in. I prefer one way, you may prefer the other way. One thing I should mention before we finish the video is that Bluehost will install some WordPress plugins for you. If we just go over to the plugins, I can show you what they are. There's Akismet Anti-Spam. That one is installed for pretty much every WordPress installation on any host, as is Hello Dolly. Those are the two that you will find installed on every installation pretty much. The rest of these plugins, so we have Bluehost, we have Google Analytics, for WordPress by Monster Site, Jetpack for WordPress.com, Optin Monster API, and WP Forms Lite. All of those have been added by Bluehost. So if you wanted to start from scratch with a completely bare site with nothing pre installed, then you could actually delete all of those plugins as well. The Bluehost one is there to integrate your WordPress site with the Bluehost control panel. So you probably want to keep that one, but all of the others you can deactivate if you want to start from scratch.